Hi everyone, it's Jackie here and I've got some journals to share. Um, I haven't done a great deal over August, um, so I've been working on some design team projects. I've got four to do, I've done three. Um, <coughs> this is the first one, this is for Mrs Cog's, um, let's call it September, October um, design team project. It's a large um, journal with six signatures. It's five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And I think the spine is approximately two and a quarter inches, um, two and a half inches. This is um, the, the actual design of, of this particular journal is based on one of the Nick the Booksmiths. I think it's the original Booksmithers course or maybe the Paris one. Um, anyway, it's chipboard covers, um, hard chipboard covers and it's a uh, hollow back binding so it lies quite flat. And the Mrs Cog bit is the Kate Greenaway collection which is just lovely. Um, I've always been a bit of a fan of her illustrations so using these sheets was a real pleasure. Um, this will be up for sale in my Etsy shop and I'll do a quick flick through. So the ties are just seam binding, this is paper, spine is fabric covered. You can see that um, I've kept the front very simple. The whole journal is, is quite simple really. Oops. Okay so we've got a little pocket on the front here with my letter and my card. Um, paper cover on the inside and we've got some collage tags, um, tea stained paper, and a bunch of sheets. Now I think there are 192 <coughs> pages counting fronts and backs in this journal. Um, this is a tag page and there's some little is a Beatrix Botter stamp. Uh, this is a tuck spot, there's nothing in that at the moment. All of the ties have got little hearts on. And everything is backed onto either card or uh, tea stained paper. Most of the tags are collage style. Um, so this is a pocket and a pocket. These cards I made myself. They're not from the kit, but everything else is. Uh, there's a few little um, small talk stickers. This trim I've used a few times. So you can see there's a little bit of a nature as well as the Kate Greenaway, there's a little bit of a nature theme, but not overly so in this journal. It's mostly um, uh, made to write in really and to put your memories into. I love that one. As you can see, there's some stitching. I haven't stitched everything. Um, I think this is, does to some extent, mimic Mrs. Cog's style. Less elaborately and less beautifully maybe, but um, I really like this journal. <laughs> and I would be very happy to use it. Um, if you've been following me on my journal with me series, this would be ideal, particularly the, the way it lays so beautifully. This is a large illustration. And again, another little tag with a, at this time a garden stamp on it. A collage tag. birds. I do quite like adding a few birds to my journals. Looks 
see the variety. This is a really quite a big, um, a lot of illustrations in this pack, as, as there are in all of Elizabeth's. Um, this is a collage made from a bit of the fabric um, and cover paper. Another tag, which is, that's another Beatrix Potter. Three little girls sitting on a fence pretty and the colours in this kit are right up my street as well a lot of soft pinks blues greens that's the famous five I went through my stamp my actual postage stamp collection and found quite a few um, sort of children based stamps and I've put those on can see there's a lot that's Paddington on that one. Another collage one, matching the colours. I think I've tried to um, think about my style a bit really, because I definitely have got a style these days. Um, I think I've said before, I never thought I had, but I do have. It's obviously quite simple. I like things that aren't too fussy, generally, although I love to look at the um, more elaborate journals. But I think colour coordination is quite a big thing with me, really. Um, sometimes it comes quite easily. Other times I have to work at it quite hard. So that's the back. There's nothing in this tuck spot, but obviously you could add something. And that's Mrs Cog's design team project for September, October. Um, if you're interested, it will be in the Etsy shop. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.